Hi guys, today I'm going to go straight into the tutorial. I don't want to waste your time. So we're going to start by removing my old extensions. I've had these extensions on for maybe three weeks. And as you can see, my pinky didn't survive. So we're going to be removing them with the one kill gel remover. The reason I'm able to remove it so easily is because I used a peel off base coat underneath. I do my nails so often that I need to use a peel off base coat in order to protect my natural nails. Anyways, I have been seeing the Kylie Jenner summer nail on my TikTok everywhere and everybody's trying to recreate it and I don't feel like anyone really perfectly recreated it. So this is my attempt in recreating it perfectly as close as possible to the original. And as always, I'm going to be linking all the products I use down below on my Amazon storefront. So go check that out if you're interested. Right now, I'm buffing my natural nail. It's really important to add some texture on it so your nails last longer. I will be showing you guys how to build the natural nail with Builder Gel. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but Builder Gel is what you use to strengthen your natural nail. And I'll be showing you guys each step. Right now, I'm using the Melody Susie Portable Nail Drill. I am obsessed with this nail drill because it doesn't come with the stringy cable. You can just charge it and use it. I'm also using a cuticle bit, so be gentle when you're doing this step. I will link the dr drill down below and also up here. If you guys are interested, this is one of my favorite nail drills. So if you're a little bit scared of investing a lot of money on a nail drill, this is a very affordable and easy option. I think it's very beginner friendly, so it will get you started with nails and cuticle care. Anyways, after I drill my cuticles, make sure that when you're doing this, you're holding the cuticle bit very like flat on the nail, that you're not drilling into your nail. Do it very gently. After I dust that off, I'm gonna grab my cuticle nipper and cut my cuticles. This step is also very um, risky, so if you're not comfortable using a cuticle nipper, just skip it. it. It doesn't really matter, I just do it to make it look clean and aesthetically pleasing. It's not dangerous to cut your cuticle at all, so do your research and yeah, make sure you're comfortable with it. Now I'm going to spray some alcohol on my natural nails and clean it. Then I'm going in with some nail dehydrator. This is to prevent any lifting or yeah, cracks in your nail. This will make the glue or whatever you're using really stick. So don't skip the dehydrator. It's really, really important. Anyway, after the dehydrator, I'm going in with some base coat and applying a thin layer on all of my nails. Make sure that it's not too thick or not too thin, but it's covering the whole nail. Yeah, so cure that for 60 seconds after you apply it. Since I'm going to be applying gel extensions on my pinky, I'm gonna apply nail glue instead of base coats for just that nail. And now I'm buffing the inside of the extension, putting that same glue inside and extending my pinky. I'm gonna buff that nail as well so that everything is buffed and you don't need to add base coat on the extended nail. Now I'm using Builder Gel from Savvy Land. I don't know how to say this brand, but I, th I think it's Savvy Land. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna apply a thin layer of that builder gel on my nails cover the whole nail Don't miss any spot and then I'm grabbing a blob of that builder gel and This is the thin layer that I applied before the blob was called the slip layer And it's gonna help the blob that you put on the nail to slide evenly into those areas and I'm also grabbing a liner brush I've said this time and time again on my channel, but you really want to build the apex when you're doing your nails. If you want your nails to last longer and healthier, you always want to build the apex. And I'll show you guys a picture up here of what an apex looks like. That's what you want to go for. 
After I've applied the builder gel on each nail, I'm going to cure it for 25 seconds with the small lamp and then at the end put it into the big lamp for 60 seconds and cure it fully. Also one of the ways that I prevent a heat spike from happening on my nails is to constantly move the UV light that you're using. The worst thing you can do is to put your hand fully into the curing light and not move it. So for the first 25 seconds it's really important that you move around the UV light on and off the nail to prevent any burning from happening. Sorry, I was yapping for a minute there, so I kind of skipped a step on what is happening, but I am applying the OPI Bare My Soul Nude Shade onto my natural nails, all of them. Apply it on all the nails. This is going to be for the base, and I only applied one layer of that, and then I applied the Silver Magnetic Gel from Enema, or Emina. I don't know what the brand name is, but I'll link it down below. This is one of the best magnetic gels that I've used ever because of how responsive the magnet is to the magnet. Like the magnet and the magnet in the nail work perfectly. And it's really, really crucial that if you're doing this design, the magnet is really strong to give it that glittery, glowy look. So after you've applied the magnet gels, you're going to want to apply one layer of non-wipe top coat on each nail and then the chrome is going to stick perfectly on that nail because of that non-wipe top coat that you used. If you don't use a non-wipe top coat, it's not going to stick as beautifully as you want it to. So each step I'm curing the non-wipe top coat and then applying the chrome. I'm going to be using like five different chromes, but I will show you each one. I'll put up a picture of Kylie's nails up here and I'll show you guys how I imitated it. The index finger looked like a pink chrome that she was using, so I used my pink chrome that I have. I think it's the exact same shade as she used or her nail tech used and yeah. I'm gonna mix the yellow chrome with the pink chrome and kind of give it that fade. It was really easy. I feel like this is the easiest step out of the whole thing, is just rubbing the chrome in to your nails. For the middle finger, I'm using this green chrome that I have. I don't know which brand, but I will link it down below. Everything is linked down below, guys. Anyways, you guys can just see each color that I, that I used. I think I used pink, yellow, green, blue. This one's the blue one. And then I used regular glaze chrome on my ring finger. I am so obsessed with how this turned out. I love the, all the different shades of chrome and how they look on top of the silver magnetic. I never did anything like this, so I'm literally hypnotized by the nail design. Um, now I'm gonna top coat every single nail with the glossy top coat from Kokoist. Kokoist? Let me, let me know if I'm pronouncing anything wrong because I get a lot of comments telling me that I'm pronouncing a lot of things wrong, so that's embarrassing. But yeah, let me know. Anyways, make sure that your top coat is flawless and cure that for 60 seconds. 
this is the end result of my nails let me know if it's perfectly a recreation of kylie's nails i'm not really sure because there are not many photos of her nails online so let me know but yeah thank you guys so much for watching